My friends, my friends, I'm Big Z and welcome to Lore Star. Today is the day the newest Kenobi trailer has finally dropped and I'm here today to take a look at that trailer, break down all the Easter eggs and details that I can find in my first viewings as well as some initial reactions. So without further ado, let's take a look at the trailer. All right, as you can see, the trailer is here on the official Star Wars YouTube channel and uh, we're going to take a quick look and I'm going to just let it play and pause as I see things that I find interesting. The fight is done. We lost. Okay, wait. Oh, look, it's young Luke. You can see young Luke sitting right here on the uh, top of the Lars family house. That's pretty cool. So we got Baru, we got Owen. That's pretty neat. That, that's a cool little detail right there. I like that. Oops, don't want to skip forward. Oh, there he is. Stay hidden. The key. Grand Inquisitor in live action? Jedi. Okay. Subtitle said Grand Inquisitor. Grand Inquisitor in live action. I am going to... Oh, man. Okay. Hunting Jedi. This patience. Wait, wait, hold on. I want to. This patience. All right, let's take a. Let's, yeah, let's take a look. Oh man. Okay, so what I really don't like there. There's a little bit of like that's not fitting perfectly right. That shoulder pad needs to be a little bit more level, but. That's that's the Grand Inquisitor, all right. And this is the first time we've seen an Inquisitor in live action, so that's pretty cool. He's not quite as gaunt as he's made out to be in Rebels. I'll get over that. Uh, he's got a new little insignia there. That's pretty cool. But it looks like he's on Tatooine. So it looks like Vader is, in fact, suspicious that Obi-Wan is on Tatooine, which is interesting. Now, obviously, Duel of the Fates was just playing in the uh, in the trailer. I might have to actually mute that out. I don't know. But uh, Duel of the Fates was just playing, which obviously we are meant to associate with Maul. So maybe Maul will, in fact, be in this. I have no idea. Maybe it's just to throw us off because here's the Grand Inquisitor. That's the Grand Inquisitor right there. I'm a happy camper. Jedi. Ooh. By the way, that uh, that line that he says, stay hidden, I think that was also a reference to Jedi Fallen Order. Uh, we got this tower here, which almost reminds me of the uh, observation tower on Lothal. I mean, it's possible that maybe if there's some green on these mountains, this could be that little desert area kind of in the offskirts of Lothal's capital city. I cannot help what they are. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, whoa, 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 Okay, we've got... Is that Trilla? Is that supposed to be the second sister? Avengers. I can't tell for certain. This is obviously supposed to be the fifth brother. Um, I've never seen this chick before, but she reminds me of a description of an Inquisitor we've seen in a book, and I'm trying to remember what number they were. But, okay, so I think that's that Inquisitor. Oh! This, this is the fortress. This is the underwater fortress from Jedi Fallen Order. The, uh, Fortress Inquisitorium. Holy crap. Holy crap. Okay. Yeah. Woo-hoo-hoo. -hoo. Their compassion. <gasps> Hanging? Leaves In Star trail. Wars? The Jedi Code is like an itch. I'm really, really upset that, you know, Jason Isaacs, is not voicing the Inquisitor because obviously he's a fantastic voice actor and he voices the Inqu Grand Inquisitor in Star Wars Rebels. He cannot help it. Whoa, 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 whoa. okay, what's this? Looks like Stormtrooper. Okay, so let's see, that says uh, Ned. Really? 
It's going to say Ned. But that kind of looks like one of the droids we see in Jedi Fallen Order. This seems to be drawing a lot from Jedi Fallen Order. I wonder if we'll see Cal Kestis in this. No, wait, because if the Inquisitorium Fortress is still standing, this has got to take place before. But no, Luke was around, I don't know, maybe six or seven. So this has got to be after Jedi Fallen Order. Huh. Where is he? Vader's breathing! We have Vader breaths! May 25th. Oh, that's cool. They gotta be using that more. Reminds me of the... Oh, I was hoping for a little Rogue One end of the trailer Vader turnaround. But man, oh man, that was something special. I don't want to watch the trailer in a different language. Thank you. Man, oh man, that was something else. Goodness me. Oh man. I am a happy camper. Oh, goodness. So as you can see, this new trailer focuses very heavily on the Inquisition, which is a subsect of the Empire, not to be confused with the Sith Inquisition from the Old Republic. The Imperial Inquisition was a subsect of the Empire, wherein Darth Sidious and Vader personally found and recruited either fallen Jedi or captured Jedi or even just Force sensitives that were not found by the Jedi and inducted them into the Inquisitorium where they were trained to hunt down the remaining Jedi. And this focused very heavily on three Inquisitors, the Grand Inquisitor as interpreted in live action, though not by Jason Isaacs, the fifth brother, and a third Inquisitor, which could be Trilla. I'm not 100% sure. If it is, it's a loose interpretation of Trilla's visual appearance, but yet at the same time could be. Although, you know who it kind of looks like? Kind of looks like Seer Junda. That song, I wrote it. Did Seer become an Inquisitor after the events of Jedi Fallen Order? So here's the thing. This has to take place after the events of Jedi Fallen Order because the age we see Luke in the trailer. Luke looks to be around six or seven years old. Obviously, he was infantile at the end of Revenge of the Sith, meaning that he would have been about five years old during the events of Jedi Fallen Order. This is a little bit too old to be five. He could be six, he could be seven, but that does not look like a five-year-old. So unless their casting department had just an absolutely dreadful understanding of the aging of human beings, this has got to take place after the events of Jedi Fallen Order, which means Trilla should be dead. The Inquisitorium Fortress that we see in Jedi Fallen Order should be destroyed, so that should be a new fortress or a rebuilt fortress. And it is possible that we'll find out that Seer was eventually found by the Empire and turned to the Inquisitorium. Well, guys, those are my first reactions and thoughts and findings. I am going to be doing a more thorough breakdown in just a moment and hopefully have a new video out soon. But guys, I'm so excited for Kenobi. Tell me what do you guys think. It's going to be May 25th. The date right now is April 9th, maybe April 10th by the time this is up. But yeah, this is uh, coming very soon, just a little over a month away. So tell me, guys, are you excited for Kenobi? How do you guys feel about it? Ranking it to how excited you were for Book of Boba Fett or for the upcoming Mandalorian Season 3, how does Kenobi rate for you guys? Let me know all that down in the comments below because, as always, I want to know what you, my friends, have to say about our favorite galaxy far, far away. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, or if you learned absolutely nothing new, you can feel free to leave a thumbs down, completely guilt-free, because that tells me... I'm not doing my job. Thank you again for watching, and as always, may the Lord be with you, now and forever.